Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. I want to take a Forex quick look at the Aussie versus U.S. dollars. Traders, prepare for the employment numbers that are coming out in the new trading day. Before I go into the charts and show you the, the levels of uh, the target levels, the risk levels, the bias levels, let's take a look at what the data is uh, expected for the employment uh, statistics. This is for the month of September, and the employment change is expected to show a 25,000 increase. That comes after a 33,000.5 increase last month. The uh, full-time employment last month came in at 58.8 thousand. Uh, there is no estimate for it this month. The participation rate is at uh, devil's number 66.6 percent that comes unchanged from last month and the unemployment rate is at 3.5 percent which is also unchanged from last month so now that we know the data you have the opportunity to trade off of that data whether it be stronger or weaker uh, usually if a stronger number is going to send the Aussie versus US dollar more to the upside a weaker number is going to send it to the downside we will see how that happens and in order to see how that happens we need to understand the technicals that are in play for this currency pair so i'm going to start off by taking a look at the hourly chart and defining the short-term bias here for the currency pair the bias if you look at this uh, chart is a little bit more to the downside um, in the short term this is a short-term trading chart why because the price is below the 200 and 100 hour moving averages that's going to be our bias defining level in the short term if the price moves above it the bias turns more to the upside if the price stays below it like we're, ha we're at now then the bias remains to the downside. Now you could say that the bias is the downside, so it should be short, but there is risk involved with this number. So sometimes it's best to just be be square, let the price, let the data come out, and then react to the price action. Uh, for instance, if it comes out weaker than expected, you might look to sell against this level or sell on a break. What are the levels on the downside that would define a break? And I'm gonna bring your attention to the first uh, area on the downside, would be this area right here this yellow area why because look at all these levels where the market either found support or resistance against the level and uh, there are a number of different uh, arrows, uh, arrows here showing that including today's low which came down to the top side of this swing area through here and found support buyers so this is sort of a, a floor now admittedly the floor was broken here and it was broken through here that's okay that was attempts to move lower and the price couldn't get down or stay below that level and it actually led to a rotation back to the upside which ended up moving down in trading here today and finding our support against the old floor okay so that's where the market is centering around centering centering below the 100 200 keeping the bias more to the downside but we need to get below this low area at 0 0.62372 and stay below that level to keep the sellers more in control after a break of that level what would the targets be where are we going where what do we have to get through and needless to say getting through our low prices for the year lowest prices going down to deck back to 2020 are the uh targets to get to and through if we're able to get to and through those levels and stay below those levels guess what the sellers remain in control and it opens a door for further selling where can we go in the um, aussie versus us dollar and that's where it becomes a little bit trickier because if you go to the weekly chart here this is our low price for 2022 we move below this these lows through here somewhere around the 0 0.6252 level and we're currently trading um, just above those levels here but if we go down and take out the low here there's a lot of room down here until we get to the low price from 2020 so uh, from a technical perspective you're kind of hoping that you break below this low right here and then you stay below it and let the market take you where it wants to go there'll be other levels target levels that we can look at from the hourly chart or maybe the five minute chart that would give us clues but the goal is to get below this low and let the market stay below that level to move lower so that is the the game plan the playbook for the downside in the aussie versus us dollar now what about the upside well we know that the 100 and 200 is our barometer on the top side what how would happen if we get above that level and i want to bring your attention to the this area through here where where we've had a number of swing well one swing low and uh, then a number of swing highs through here all these highs came in this yellow area here and this one low where the price uh, came up to into the area and then found 
sellers, found sellers, found sellers, found sellers, uh, early sellers and trading here today. So that is the ceiling that needs to get to and through. If we get above that level, guess what? The door should open up for further upside momentum. Now that move may look like uh, something like this because we have another swing area that comes into play. But what we'd want to see is uh, the get above this swing area, get above this swing area where, again, we have a number of different levels through here where the market formed a floor and a ceiling through here. So get above that level would open up the door for further upside for here for the Aussie versus US dollar. Stay above that level and the buyers remain in control for this uh, currency pair. So that's how I see the Aussie versus uh, US dollar. Um, pretty clear clear to me, some key technical levels, key ceilings, key floor type areas that if the market were to break through those levels, you'd wanna see the momentum continue in the direction of the break, whether it be the upside or to the downside for this currency pair, we don't care. What we only care about is that we can define our risk, we can limit our risk, we can also understand our bias and understand where we're going, our target levels for that uh, for the currency pair. So I hope you like this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. But you are now prepared and you are now aware. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.